Hello everybody, welcome to game number four. We're up against why the Fimea tribute band. Oh god. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the good. This is the great thing about Amazon's, though, right? You can lose this game and be totally fine with it because it's not your fault. What can you do? Hard counted. Nothing I could do. Completely diced. Completely diced by the scheduler. Um, not my fault for losing. No problem. So there you go. Bloody Norse and UK BBL. Oh dear. Did you neuro? Wow, I'm 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 probably jealous. They're probably still pretty hot, aren't they? Let's have a look. They're two years younger than me. So in that case, still hot. <laughs> Cause I'm still hot. <laughs> Twenty twenty two. Where are the cheeky girls now? Yeah, they're still they're still pretty fucking hot to be fair. Soignez vos préparatifs avant match. I mean I don't want to said the two years younger than me, of course I'm twenty nine. Um and will remain so forever. Wow, that is a lot of stats. Is that the most stats I've seen on a team? Probably. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight stats. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's insane. Yeah, to be fair. To be fair. Um, I think I just receive and go for the draw. To be fair, they're not they're not that bad at a thousand TV. Like you know, before they get loads of mighty blow, right? Chofs are worse than dwarves because they're faster and stuff, and so, and zons are slow. But they're not as bad. But they're not as bad at this point when they've only got loads of bunch of tackle. But yeah, when when they get loads of guard and mighty blow, they're they're a nightmare. But at a thousand TV, it's not so bad. I mean, Chops, they're, they're obviously like a beast team. Because they turn you into hobgoblins a little bit, but... It's still, it's literally not that bad. Let's keep it on block ball carrier. Shall we? Hello. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. It's trying to be nice. God damn it. Maybe I want the block in the fight. And if he thinks I'm going to fall for that, he's got another thing coming. I could just try and blitz this guy, couldn't I? That's probably not a bad idea. God, it's horrendous socialising. <laughs> no need, is there? <laughs> He's banned for sniping. Oh, the catcher can catch it, perfect. Him 
Normally, since we need to anyway. <laughs> Correct. Oh, look at this armor, bro. Ah, dice. Where can these girls? Can they hit me? Technically. I wish I had the wizard for this game. Hello, no, I'm told no, no, just motivated by easy matches. <laughs> Not this one, though, of course. Yeah, the kangaroo logo's pretty great, isn't it? Yeah, that was the Gdanic. Gdanic? In a. Blood Bowl Super League? Really done with another card for this game. Twos. Not quite enough. Uh, you replace you replace the logos. You replace the uh, you replace them, but it only show, shows up for like you. It doesn't show up for your opponents. You like replace them in your computer, basically. Ouch! Diced. Poor old Kylie. Low centre of gravity, I thought you wouldn't get knocked over. Um, I have seen the new zones. Yeah, I should have done a YouTube video on them, really. Um, I think they're shit. Yeah, I see they're only a dozen new exactly. It's like the JF, right? The, the JF, nobody, nobody sees the JF. Shit, as in they're not very good. They're not very good and they're boring. to push down here a little bit just to make it just to make it look like I care about scoring the old center of gravity concept center of mass even I guess it's center of gravity I'm still chuckling at my uh Kind of an old job, probably. The block is insane, yeah. Yeah, the blocker is insane. I mean, they're not perfectly fine, this shit. The blitzers are garbage. The throwers are garbage. The linemen are ridiculous. And the blockers are ridiculous. So they've literally made them more boring. Instead of four good players and seven crap ones, they've made them two Im unbelievable, maybe the best player in Blood Bowl, and uh, nine shitheads. It's fucked up. Bonehead Podcast done two videos on them. They might have even got two facts in those two videos. No, you don't take, you take one glitter to carry on, you're carrying a blocker. The blocker does have strength access, but I don't think I'd take any strength skills. I think I'd just take. Uh, I think I would just take stats. 
Yeah. Now I think I would just take stats. To be fair. I think I would just take stats. The punch, punch, punch. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. C'est le moment de vérité. Voilà. On leur a voulu nice. taper sur le bras. Tout ce qu'on obtiendra, c'est de l'écho. Oh, I guess the guy could have gone in there. Fuck. Découdre mano à mano, Bob. Pas ah pour ça. Il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire mm. et voir les insectes. Two and I mean, the problem with the guard is when you're going to use the guard. Like, I would just go stats. I would just literally go block and then roll for stats. And then you've got like griff, right? You can have two griffs on your team. Pretty easily, you can just have two griffs on your team. Move eight, edge four, strength five. Like, you can just have insanity players. They're like basically like become. They become insane, don't they? Like super quickly. Like stats are just so good on them. I like Mighty Blow's nice and Guard's nice, but would Mighty Blow on Griff be that good? Not really. Would Guard on Griff be that good? Not really. Like not at the cost of the stats, isn't it? So I'd probably just want to go stats. Like it depends, obviously. If if you've got redrafts, then you're gonna to have to take skills on them, and then but then you're probably not gonna take them. So. Guard Blodge is very nice, but isn't Arch 4 nicer? Isn't Strength 5 nicer? Isn't Move 7 or 8 nicer? You know, that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? That is the thing. Strength six, yeah, yeah, they can, they can indeed be strengths. They like bull centaurs. So bull centaurs. So I'd probably build them the same as a bull centaur, right? Which is bludge, guard, tackle. So I'd want the most four skills. Um, Ça sent la bonne grosse poignade. Obviously, I wouldn't want break tackle. But, you know, the dwarves. Bull centaurs need break tackle, right? If you start with edge three, then you don't need break tackles. So that's why I didn't mention break tackle because it's not part of the deal when looking at the blockers, right? I think Dathan was talking about the chorfs because I mentioned the chorfs. Is what I think. Kalon. Yeah, bulls. But yeah, but yeah, bulls get bulls get break tackle, but they get it because they're edge two. They don't get it because it's good. <laughs> Le 
ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Yeah. So that's why I didn't mention the break tackle. So the actual skills that the bulls get are bludge, tackle, guard. This is alright, isn't it? It's got a hit. Well, hey, fan fox. So, the block is the most important. Then you've got a bludge strength for and that's really good. So you have to take block on them. Like you have to take block on them. And then what? what so what do you want on a, like on a bull centaur after you've got? If you could just roll stats on a bull centaur, you would take block. You take break tackle. But then you, that's the thing. You don't want the edge on them, right? So that's the thing because you don't want edge on the bull centaurs because you've got to take the break tackles. So you don't need to go to edge three. So that, that's the thing, so it makes them even better than stats would be on a bull centaur. But you really love strength. You do love strength on a bull centaur, don't you? But you can't take edge. Because they've got break tackle. But if, if bull centaurs started at edge 3, then suddenly edge on them becomes amazing. I would never take our drummer on a bull centaur. I know people do, but those people are what I like to refer to as wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Probably shit. <laughs> Oh god, stop rolling crap. Yeah, the problem with with edge and a bull centaur, like you just can't take edge because because you just need so many skills. Yeah, but you could break tackle. The problem with the taking edge is it's worse than break tackle for dodging most of the time, right? That's the thing. If they start on edge three, then sure you go to edge four. Like that's incredible then. But starting on edge two, going to edge three, that you still want to take break tackle to to, to like because break tackle is almost certainly better than edge three. When it comes to like doing what you want to do, which is on dodge. So, and you can sometimes double dodge anyway, right? The fall. So, that's the problem with the edge. I did not like it. There hasn't been a failed dodge so far, no. I'm sure when it comes time to make a critical one, I'll fail. Also, I've got zero penetration yet. 
you want to surf this guy, you can. How would I change zones? I mean, that's a good question. First of all, I'd ask to be paid. Oh, wow, he was in range. I didn't even realise. Oh, my God. First of all, I would get paid to change them. There you go. There's an answer. Wow, I didn't see that. Imagine just not seeing that there was, you could go that far. Fuck me. That's terrible, isn't it? Defending the ball is super easy. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even think of him just getting that far. Jimmy fantastic shit at this game. Thanks for that. Correct. And now everyone's based by tackle. So we're bound to see some failed dodges now. Wonderful. He could dodge to there, he could blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, there's the there's the fail now. Classic. There we go, and the one in nine. Brilliant. See, I told you. Absolute perfection. Comedy mega. <sighs> what a pointless waste of time. That's, it's fucking bollocks, isn't it? Oh, that was good, though. Oh, well, he won an 81. <laughs> All right, in with a chance. In with a chance. Shame that, I, uh, shame that I'm stunned over there. through, did I? Fuck. Just need a 1D there to make a 2D there to free up the guard. Three, four, five, six, GFI. zone de tackle, et l'équipe adverse s'en mord les doigts. Oh, c'est tout sauf une bonne idée de finir sa course si près de la ligne de touche. C'est un coup à se faire pousser dans la foule. La dernière fois que c'est arrivé, il a fallu trois jours pour reconstituer le corps. Oh baby, get the power. Love to see it. Oh, but I'm based. Oh, I didn't do the double GFI. I had to do the double GFI. Whoopsie. Now, what do I do with this Garda then? Because the surf is a uh, 
is a very real possibility. Well, it's happening, the surf is happening, isn't it? I don't see how he doesn't surf me. Just hope, hope he starts playing crap. So hopefully double one's one of these two. Oh, diced. That would have been sick, wouldn't it? If he'd won in 81. If he'd opened, if he'd opened with a 1 in 81 and then, uh, and then opened with a 1 in 36, that would have been sick. Yes, Team Antilla, yeah, that would have, that would have been terrible. <laughs> Backup, backup quarterback trying to beat Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seem good, Skuro. Okay, this doesn't look like the surf. Then the fact he's gone there. So there might be a chance. Sparky has unfortunately played very well, hasn't he? Very unfair. Haven't been able to hit his hobbles at all. Hit them once with Mighty Blow. Didn't get an armor break. Don't say it's over! It's definitely not over. Ooh, he's rolled a one. Oh, Josh Jacobs has got 13 points for me, so now I'm 20 points ahead of Hulkamania. Can Tom Brady outscore Patrick Mahomes by 20 points? <laughs> Probably not. That's a sick match, though, isn't it, tonight? Four. Pass it? Am I passing it? Got one free player. So I can blitz. Assist, block. I've got a few free players. Let me just go here. Block on two. Then go back. Blitz this one, then block that, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Pass. A double G if I handle. It's got to be the best. Joueur débarqué dans leur but adverse. Soit il attend le ballon, soit il taille le bouton avec les supporters. Sûrement les deux à la fois. Blitz there. Oh, no, don't blitz there. Whoopsie. Okay, I did the wrong thing. That really fucked it, didn't it? I had to blitz him, and then block this one. This guy had to blitz him. Oh, shit. And I just had to assist from there. Then I could have got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then GFI pass. I could hand off. And then do the dodge pass there, so that's what three. And a one and nine, then another three. Or the one and nine. Yeah, it's okay, so I'll just hand off to him. This is looking a bit shit. Do that so it doesn't get served. Oh, 
I did fuck it a bit, yeah. GG. That's the game over, isn't it? It was close, though. If I'd played it, if I'd done it correctly, I'd have scored, probably, wouldn't I? I'd done the GFIs. I mean, I rolled a bunch of dice there. Could have done the GFIs handoff. Shit. Never mind. I've forgiven myself. I fucked up a couple of times in that drive. Not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, so not really. <laughs> in in the magical fantasy hand that Rick in the magical fantasy land that Rick Reckless inhabits. Yes, um, but in reality, no. Could scrape out a nil-nil, maybe. Maybe. Right? And yeah, you know, he could get really unlucky, and that could be it. Could be a win still. It could still be a win, but it's very unlikely. But you know, if I hadn't been a dickhead and lost the ball for no reason, which was, you know, totally... I mean, I have forgiven myself, but there was no, there was no reason to do that. If I hadn't done that, then... Uh, it was a good example of why chaffs aren't actually that bad for zones. As long as you don't play like a shithead. I have forgiven myself, but it was it was crap play, wasn't it? There's no there's no two ways about it. It was it was a terrible, terrible mistake. I mean I don't care that I made a terrible mistake. I've forgiven myself for making a terrible mistake. Even Stevie Gerrard makes mistakes. Uh, Rick's been on holiday, I hear. But I don't know where or doing what. Yeah, got 11 for the second half. Especially Steven Gerrard, yeah. But I mean, this is a guy who's gone down as a legend, hasn't he? And was getting paid God knows how much, 150 grand a week or whatever. He made a mistake, so how can how can anybody feel bad for making a mistake? I would never take Dauntless on this team, no. I could see the point of doing it on a, on a Blitzer. But, um, yeah. Not most money ever accrued by a Scouser, but the most money ever earned by a Scouser. <laughs> yeah, earned. Earned is one thing, right? It's not the most amount of money... Uh, yeah, it's not the most amount of money uh, obtained. Oh yeah, the Beatles. Shit, yeah, the Beatles. The Beatles beat him, don't they? Oh yeah, that's a good point. The Beatles probably made more than him, didn't they? McCartney. Is McCartney a Scouser? McCartney made the most, didn't he? I think. <laughs> His wife did. Imagine marrying someone if you were that rich. It's so fucking stupid, isn't it? Like it's unbelievably dumb. We were watching. Uh, we were watching. Uh, what's it called? Boston Legal. And in that, somebody. You know, there's been a few people, rich people, that got married and then got divorced, and like, they just fucking lose everything. It's mental. Jeebus. But then you get fucked even if you don't get married sometimes, don't you? Because, like, they, they lived 
if you live together long enough and stuff, it's fucking bollocks. Luckily for me, I'm poor and will always be poor, so it doesn't matter. Way. <laughs> Something I'll never have to worry about. Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm yes, that would be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? Maybe I should try and uh maybe I should try and find myself a uh, a desperate old lady. A desperate a desperate, ugly woman. <laughs> I do know one, but she's unfortunately not as rich as she would have to be to motivate me to uh, do anything with her. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. A desperate old lady to care for all the baby beavers you are pumping out with all of us. <laughs> you harlot. Jim MB, Jim MB, Jim MG. Glorious. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you've got to go that way first. Uh, thank you very much. Sorry, I'm, I've got to. I've got to play this turn because it's it's hard, isn't it? It's so hard. It's so hard. I'm mean, going all men's against chords with songs, which some people say, some people might say, is fucking stupid. But what do they know? They're probably fucking rebels. I, I, I think I don't a GFI. I've got four rerolls, fuck it. I mean, this is tricky for him, at least. And it's a bit like go big or go home, right? This could definitely end up in a loss. But uh, Lemon is good. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 61 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet. have to be rich. Hmm, oh. I think this might be all over now. He's got the one in nine pickup. Hopefully he'll just let me sack the ball the way I let him sack the ball. And he could fail this one in nine, right? This one in nine fail is huge. No, of course it It's unbelievable, isn't it? Lena? Five years. It is unreal. I remember. I remember the day I got partnered, because it was like a big deal then. It's not anymore now, is it? Because like the uh, affiliate is basically as good as a partner. But um, when it was, uh, it was pretty good to get partnered when I got partnered, because it was like nothing or partnered. 
Liverpool, brutal hammers. Yeah. I'm trying trying to play Blood Bowl, yeah. Yeah, there's things that can happen here with like, you know, he's it'd have been good if he hadn't one D powered and fucking broke AV. There's things that can happen certainly. Nice. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Trying is good enough for me. Thanks. Sorry, I've got to think. I don't know if I'm going to be able to think. He was on the head of the ball, wasn't he? I think. Now is this one day? Like obviously it's great if it's a pal. Do I wanna go down to two re-rolls already? This one really can't afford to fail. This one can just don't wanna have to re-roll it. Okay, greedily accept that both down. And if this one's a three plus, I think I've just got to end the turn. I don't think the non power is that much worse than the not making a block, though. Because, like, it's still pretty shit, right? You can still just make two 2Ds to get the 2D on the ball. Well, not on the ball, on the ball marker. And you can just 1D this guy off himself in a 2+, plus. so, like, not activating there isn't really very good. But sculling out is shit. Oh wow, he's just making the dodge with a ball carrier. Let's go, one in nine. Hammers, thank you very much. Trying is good enough for me. Thank you very much, Hammers. For staying fantastic for three glorious months. Horribly nerfed. Man, Zons are like... I'm just playing Zons because they're easy to play, basically. Although, obviously, this match isn't easy to play because it's against Chofs. But generally, they're easy to play, aren't they? Because either people have Dwarves and Chofs and it's you get fucked or they don't have it and you, you wreck them. So they're generally easy to play in that regard. <laughs> oh, get out of town with your three plus, you prick. <laughs> Fucking cheater. Yeah, I think I think new new zones are, are literally worse. I think new zones are literally worse. Because uh Because they're just as boring. 
Like the 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 like literally more boring than they were. Not even just the more boring than they were. We've got two dice on the ball here, and something crazy happens. Yeah, chorf dodge. Fuck off. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Glorious. Right. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. GFI. Oh no, because I've got a double GFI. Oh, this is a dodge! Oh my god, I didn't do the block first! Oh my god. That means I don't get to power him though, which is what I wanted to do as well. But, but okay. Yeah, obviously in my head, I did this block and then I do this block, right? And I just, because I was going to do it, I just thought I'd done it. I, did, I You know, that is a problem that people have sometimes, isn't it? You just think, I'm going to do this, so you act like you've done it and you haven't done it. the ball I mean it's great payoff isn't it but also just getting over here is also pretty great reroll's gone literally a blockless dodge yeah Whew. yeah blockers are incredible it's just it's just a bad it's just a bad idea right it's just a bad a idea blockless <laughs> They've made them more boring and one-dimensional, you know? Like, I guess... Because if you've got redraft in play, and depending on how low the redraft is, then whatever happens, you only take two blockers and linos. Is, is optimal. And okay, people will, people will do it wrong, but that's optimal, just definitely. And then, depending on how short the league is, you go, like, block, guard, tackle on them. But if it's longer, like CCL, it's going to be block stat freaks, isn't it? They are, yeah. That was a good. That was a good thing. I mean, that was a terrible dodge. But just it just happens sometimes, doesn't it? The, like happens with me specifically. I have my plan for the turn, and I think I'll block him, then I'll block him, then I'll move him, and then just because I was like, "Ooh, that's a G if I'll do this first, and just forgot that I hadn't moved him yet. Unbelievable. It was nice of him to let me suck the ball in return, yeah, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? That really sucks. This also sucks. He's fucking had a good turn here. Really good turn. Incredible turn. <laughs> He's had a fucking incredible turn there. Like if that if that is a skull or like isn't made, then surf a bull, which is incredible, isn't it? Like, he's literally close to getting a ball surf. And okay, he wasn't going to let it happen, but it was still kind of close to happening. Oh, 
Ugh, God. You wouldn't have done that for Kelsey. Help, help, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Might get a nil nil out of it. But it's going to be dicey with only one reroll. This is the Sparky, yeah. Man, that was such a good turn last turn for him. Like, the Kaz probably not that, he, not well, KO not probably that impactful, but still, like, imagine if he just hadn't powered that Bludger, who could have then dodged away and done something this turn. If he hadn't done those things that would have let me surface ball, it obviously would have been incredible. Another pow. Full pow. He's passed everything, hasn't he, lately? And I've used two rerolls. I've used two rerolls and failed. And he's passed everything. Damn it, he's done the right plays again. What are you doing, Sparky? Why can't you play shit? I did have four rerolls this half, yeah. But I failed every like I failed loads of things and he's failed nothing. So it's <laughs> it's made it pretty difficult. It made it pretty difficult, and it was pretty good at one point, but now it's got more difficult, hasn't it? So I could block him. I mean, I wouldn't have re-rolled the first thing that I wouldn't have attempted the first thing that I attempted that I used the re-roll for if I didn't have the re-roll. So, oh, man, I, w I just want to one D because then I can move him back. Il 
les gars Tous ensemble J'ai pas compris ce qu'elle a fait, mais... Elle a pas bougé d'un iota Okay, well, I guess that makes it a draw. Fuck's sake. I was so close to a win, wasn't it? Like, got the ball on the ground and that, but... That was a nice turn. That looks like it secured the draw. I think he... Yeah, he's, I think he might have used one this half. But he hasn't really... Like, once things started going badly for him, he didn't feel anything. <laughs> oh, wow, and then he's just done a 1D here. That was interesting. C'est ça. Yeah, that's true. He might, he might think he can still win and go for the win, <laughs> um, which might be a mistake. Glorious, guys. Oh fuck, I blitzed with the wrong one. Oh, and this could be my last reroll gone. No. That was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Don't worry, I've already forgiven myself. Mm-hmm, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um... <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> do I punch him? Yeah, what could go wrong? Crowd instantly forgave me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, there's the Chalice game in uh, in 17 minutes. Yep, to my boy. Oof. Oh, baby. Fails the dodge. Oof. Flip me. Is he in range? Let's count the squares this time. My God, what a win. <laughs> 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 the squares on the ball this time. <laughs> well played. He can say well played to me. I made two massive fuck ups. <laughs> I made two monumental fuck ups. Um, so he can't even say well played to me. Well, I mean, he can say it, but it's, it's incorrect. It's literally incorrect to say well played to me. But, um, 
I let him sack the ball. And I made that GFI there. Two uh, horrific, horrific mistakes. But, you know, a normal person would say is unforgivable, but luckily I've already forgiven myself. I do like when the zones are like, yeah! <laughs> that makes me chuckle. Like, as, as bad as all the moaning sound effects are, I think the yeah is pretty great. <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to stomp the ball, but knocking down chaffs is better, isn't it? I should have followed there. Fuck. Yeah, there were some bad mistakes there. I guess mostly I played well, just two big mistakes that luckily weren't punished. I mean, real real ladies making noise is okay, right? But when it's like being done by a games company to try and do like suggestive moaning, it's it's pretty bad, isn't it? Fucking Azarenka can fuck off though, oh my god. Azarenka was like the actual worst. And I'm not gonna do a cheeky foul at the end. <laughs> no, let's take the win over Chorfs. And that's it. Oof. Pretty good Chalice finalist. With Chorfs, dispatched. Obviously a, a, a good amount of luck in certain places, but... Also some not, like, I guess it was his failed pickup, right? It went for the bull pickup, didn't he? Like, he chose to go for the bull pickup, which let us put a lot of pressure on. Uh, had it worked, of course, it would have been plain sailing for him. Look at that, 57 blocks to 41. Not a load of removals. Um, so there's a good amount of blocking there. Pretty happy with that game. Like, I think I mostly played well, just a couple of minutes. Like, that fucking absent-minded. I'm going to block this guy and move over here, and moving it first was pretty bad. But I did I did forgive myself. Like, it doesn't matter, does it? You're going to make mistakes. But it was a bad mistake. Right. So there we go. We've got a... Uh, we've got Tweedy on it. Might as well just burn 30k. Tweedy needs a touchdown and an MVP. No, it just needs more cards. Just needs loads of cards. Um, I think now that the Blitzers have got something, it's just all about feeding Tweedy Blitzers to try and get, you know, tackle and everything. The guards already don't need a lot more. So it's just all about Tweedy hammering guys <laughs> to get tackle. And then these might as well just skill up Bludge. Or like whoever. Whoever scores, scores. It doesn't really matter now. Yeah, but there you go, 4 and all, glorious. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.